Okay. So now welcome back to the last lecture of this module. In this module, we uh, I tell you something how to construction of analytic functions. Construction of analytic functions either from the real part or from the Im imaginary part. I will do with the real part, uh, it will be the same. So, if you are given a analytic function, if you are given a real uh, u, how do you determine v? From the last lecture what you have seen is that, if a real valued function u is given and if it is a real part, of, if a real valued function is given to variable function u x y, and if you want that u to be the real part of an analytic function, that u necessarily has to satisfy the harmonicity. So, for example, if I take u x y is equal to x square plus y square, you have seen that it cannot be harmonic. Hence, it cannot be the real part of an analytic function. So, when a real part or something is given, you want to know how to construct the image, is it possible to construct the imaginary part? First thing you have to verify that, that given function either it is a real part or it is an imaginary part, verify that, that u is a harmonic function. Okay. Once u is a harmonic function, you try to attempt to find the v using some method. One of the two methods I am going to derive, end of it both methods are more or less similar, but uh, both way uh, you can do that one. So, let us uh, do that one. So, what is some uh, method one I am going to tell you, but suppose u is a similar thing, I do not have to uh, do it with me, is given. The first thing you have to verify that you compute the du by dx, du by dy, d square u by dx square and all that, you compute Laplace n of u is equal to 0. So, you need this one, only then you proceed, otherwise you do not proceed. If Laplace n of u, you proceed. So, we want to find, want to find v such that f equal to u plus i v is analytic, that is what you want it to. Such a v is called, that is a definition, is called the, then v is called the uh, harmonic called, this uh, harmonic conjugate of v, harmonic conjugate of v. Naturally, if u is given to be an uh, proceed, uh, in that case u is analytic, uh, u is harmonic. With that u, if this is analytic, you know that v will also be harmonic. So, then v is called the harmonic conjugate of u. So, the idea is simple because you know u, you use Cauchy Riemann equations. I will, uh, you work with examples. Cauchy Riemann, I can write dv by dy is equal to du by dx, because u is given, so I can compute my du by dx. So, all are functions of x and y. So, from here, I will get this I know, I know it, and so I get derivative. Now, once you know this one, this is formally integrate with respect to y, integrate with respect to y. If you integrate with respect to y, I get something v x y, you integrate d u by d x, these are all formal integrations, you can do that, you do not need limit. But then once you integrate, there will be a constant, okay. You are integrating with respect to y and that constant x is a parameter. So, in this process of integration, you treat x as a parameter, so the constant will depend on x. If x changes, you will have a thing, so you will have hx. So, the constant will be a function of x. Now, that implies, I have done with respect to v, now we differentiate with respect to x, differentiate with respect to x. So, 
So what you get it differentiate with respect to x, I get dv by dx. Okay. So if I do that one, differentiate, now I have an expression here, I will get d by dx of integral of du by dx, xy, dy. You cannot take this d by dx outside, keep that in mind, that is not possible because integration is with respect to y. If it is only the integration is with respect to y, using fundamental theorem of calculus, you may be able to take it out. But the differentiation is different from integral variables. So you cannot take it out. And then you differentiate and you will have h prime of x. Okay. Now again use Cauchy Riemann. Again use Cauchy Riemann. Once you use Cauchy Riemann, dv by dx is minus du by dy. Okay. dv by dx is equal to minus du by and hence du by dy will be, so du by dy will be minus dv by dx. So that will be minus d by dx of integral du by dx. You do not have to remember any of this. Why? Because you just give an example, do it for the example. You do not have to there. So I am giving you a general formula, but you do not have to. So u is known to you, this can be computed, this can be computed and you get your h prime. So from there you compute your h prime of x is equal to du by dy. This minus will, uh, there will be a minus sign also there. There will be a minus sign also here. So you do that one. So you take this here, take that there. So you will have du by dy plus d by dx of integral du by dx dy. So all these operations you know it. So if you can integrate, you get your h prime. Do an integration, integral, find hx, find hx. Once you find hx, you substitute here, you get your v and you get your u plus iv and analytic function. Let us do with, let us do, uh, I do only simple examples. It is students job is to do the complicated example because only when the students do the complicated example, you will learn it properly. Okay. So let us take the very simple example uxy, I will do for few x. Okay. So indeed since it is a one variable case, indeed verify, verify Laplace n of u is equal to 0 because du by dx is equal to 1, d square u by x square is equal to 0. Anyway, y, there is no y, so d square u by dy square equal to 0. Let v be the complex, be the harmonic conjugate. So write down all the steps, then only you will get the mark in the examination. Okay? You have to write all the steps. In the examination, you have to write in a very systematic way. Okay? Harmonic conjugate. So I am writing that steps though this exercise is trivial because start with the trivial and simple exercises. When you start with the trivial simple exercises, you will understand everything and slowly go for the complicated conjugate. That is, okay, u plus iv is analytic. Okay. So you have want to compute here. So you have your dv by dy, CR equations. CR equations will give you dv by dy is equal to du by dx. What is given and what is, if the v is given, you compute u. Okay? Here u is given, so you want to compute v. If on the other hand v is given, that is imaginary part is given, then you compute u. So you have to solve accordingly. du by dx is 1. That implies what? You integrate. So, integrate, so I am writing all the steps. Integrate with respect to y. You have to integrate with respect to y. If you integrate with respect to y, you will get vxy. The integration of 1 with respect to y is y plus a constant hx. 
the constant will depend on x because you are integrating. Now you differentiate with respect to x because you have to use the other uh, formula. You are used to one co uh, Cauchy Riemann equation between for v for y u for x. So you have to use the other combination because there are two Cauchy equations in the Cauchy Riemann equation. That is why now we want to compute your dv by dx. dv by dx is equal to this will be 0, it will be h prime of x. So again by Cauchy Riemann equations, Cauchy Riemann, so you can write down your du by dy is equal to minus dv by dx that is equal to h prime of x. You see, so I got it. But du by dy is equal to 0 because u is a function of x alone that implies du by dy is equal to this is equal to 0. So, you get h prime of x that implies h is a constant, hx is a constant. So, what kind of constant I will add? Can I add a real constant? Can I add a imaginary constant or can I add a no? This point whether I can add a very general constant, real constant or a purely imaginary constant or a general constant. Here you have to be careful, you have to add a purely imaginary constant because you cannot, if I add a real constant, I will be adding with this u and that will be a mistake because u is given to you. You cannot change your u, you can only change your v. So, v is determined, so your v x y, okay, constant later I will come, h x will be a real constant while adding that. So, h x is a real constant you have to add and later when you put it i you get a, so initially h x is a constant end of it v x is equal to y is equal to y plus a constant where c is real, okay. It will become purely imaginary when I substitute. So, what is my analytic function? u plus i v that is equal to x plus i y plus i c that is equal to nothing but z plus c. So, your that implies my f of z is equal to z plus c. So, that is your analytic function. So, correspond with the real part, the analytic function is defined up to a constant i c. See, your analytic function is unique up to a constant. So, we cannot be arbitrary. Just like once we are given u, we can be different from, from thing up to a, at the most a constant, it will change, if different constants will give you different analytic function. So, let me give you one more few, uh, uh, maybe one more example, Le, uh, one more example. As I said, u x y is a simple example. As I said, I am doing only simple examples, u x y is equal to x y. I will do this probably the same example again with the second method with a u x y is equal to x y. So, do the same procedure, one more example that implies let v be the harmonic conjugate, v the harmonic conjugate. The, so, that f equal to u plus i v is a analytic function. So, d v by d y do the same procedure. Let me do it quickly without much calculation. I am not writing all that, but again I am telling you when you write an examination, you write all the steps, what is the reason for it is equal to du by dx, that is equal to du by dx is equal to y, that implies v x y is equal to integrate that is y square by 2 because integration plus a constant h x. So, that implies use the other uh, equation. So, du by dy is equal to minus d, I need the other half equation, okay, minus dv by dx because I use this harmonic uh, Cauchy Riemann equation. I am using other harmonic equation that is equal to minus of, uh, I do not need that one, dv by dx, this will be 0 because it is a dv by dx. So, minus h prime of x, okay. 
but what is du by dy? du by dy is equal to x now. So, that implies minus h prime of x is equal to x or that implies h of x equal to minus x square by 2 plus a constant. You see that is a constant here. Therefore, v is equal to that implies v x is equal to y square minus x square by 2 plus c. So, let me find my analytic function. I want to find its analytic function, right. I want to find its analytic functions. Maybe I will erase this part because I will use it that for the other method. Okay. So, I will have this one. So, f of z is equal to u plus i v that is equal to u is equal to x y. So, this is equal to x y plus i into x square y square minus x square y square minus x square by 2 plus i c ok plus i where c real, c belongs to r. Now, I want to combine these together. If I combine this together, what do I get it? I will make a sign change here and I will take this here. I will write, uh, so, so let me write down that here. I will take i inside. If I take i inside, what do I get it? I want an i here. So, I will divide by i here. So, I will get an i here, multiply and divide by i, I will get 1 over i here. Okay. So, i x y I will take this here. So, I want you to work out the here properly. Okay. So, let me do the calculations. Uh, 2 also I will take here. So, I will take that 2 here. So, I will have 2 x y. I want to write in terms of z. That is my purpose. Okay. Plus i into y square minus x square plus 2 i c. That is the thing. Uh, if I take this i below, I can take this i below with 1 over i. So, I can take this i square by i because uh, I am multiplying and dividing by i. So, I will have i square by i. Okay. So, if I divide i square by i, this will be 2 i x y. Okay. 2 i x y plus, uh, minus plus x square minus y square plus minus 2 c. So, we will get it. So, there will be an I here something wrong I have done. So, I have some calculation error which you can do it. I will uh, write down the calculations here. This will be 1 over 2 i into x square minus y square plus 2 i x y plus i c. I hope that is correct. So, let us verify that. Yes, this I can write it below. So, if I am making a sign change here, once you make a sign change here, that will bring an i here, 1 over 2i, this 2i and this 2i will get cancelled. So, you get xy, you have i c. So, why do I want that one? This is 1 over 2i, this is x plus i y whole square plus i c. So, that is equal to 1 over 2i 
z square so z square by 2i plus i okay so that's it so you have this one so you have to be careful this one now there is a verification from the verification you can do this verification indeed by substituting x plus i y you get back your image real part is x y so that's why it's a twist came there because the real part you want to be x y and the imaginary part is what is getting is y square minus x square by 2 so the imaginary part is different from the real part okay and then you have this thing okay so you have five so it's basically rewriting this so this is the job one has to do sometime you will get an expression v you will get an expression v u and you have to combine it properly to get these equations okay so with this i will uh, uh, go to what we call it a part of your syllabus method 2 this is somewhat a little formal method this is called milne thompson method milne thompson This is somewhat uh, which I want to tell you. So, you have a function f of z is equal to u of x y plus i v of x y. Right. Now, you recall again x is equal to z plus z bar by 2 and y is equal to z minus z bar by 2 i. So, if I substitute here f of z is equal to suppose f is analytic so starting with f is analytic okay so that's your fundamental assumption if i replace on left hand side i have a function of z which i want for analytic function right side hand side z minus z bar by 2 this is the formal uh, the method which uh, is a quite elegant so you don't have to sometimes this is easy to do it sometimes this may be easy okay and this will be i into v of z plus z bar by 2 z minus z bar by 2i okay. the method suggests that since uh, treating it as function of treating it as a function of z z bar that's what you are doing it but on this side it looks like there is a z bar on this side there is z bar so what do you is that put you want to remove z bar so put z bar equal to z that's equivalent to saying that putting z bar equal to z equal to saying that put x equal to z and y equal to 0 is equal to doing that if i do this one this will give you my f of z is equal to u of i have not come to the milne thompson method the milne thompson method is going to use this fact so you just replace x by z z equal to z bar plus i b z so what it says is that if you have an analytic function to get the expression you replace z x variable by z variable and y variable by 0. I use this in the Milner Thompson method. So now Milner Thompson. Later you do not have to worry about all that Milner Thompson. We will do some examples for this. Okay. Suppose u is given you can do the similar way when v is given you want to find v of course u is given means u has to be harmonic please keep that always in mind if you want to analytic function where real or imaginary part is given you have to verify that they satisfy the harmonic functions that's the first step you have to do such that f of z is equal to u plus i v is analytic analytic okay. now you differentiate differentiate 
you know the derivative you have f prime of z is equal to u of du by dx plus i dv by dx this we know it already and what is known this is known to you known quantity known this is the unknown unknown but now you use cauchy riemann cauchy riemann implies f prime of z is equal to du by dx at x y and dv by dx is equal to minus du by dy you keep that in mind that's the second part of it because dv by du by dx dv by dx dv by dx is equal to minus du by dy so you get du by dy Now u is given to you, hence this is known now in this form. Now what did I use? Now use this argument to get back my analytic function, replace x equal to z, y equal to 0. So at this stage you put x equal to z, y equal to 0 which will give you my f prime of z. So I am using this formula not on fz, I am using that formula on the f prime because I cannot use it. I cannot use it here, but I don't know equation in connecting v and u directly. I have equations only connecting u and v in its derivative. So I have to go to the derivative level. You will get it du by dx. So you differentiate with respect to the first variable and then replace that by 0 minus i into. So you differentiate y. This is the thing z that is the formula you used. Now you integrate, integrate to get f, okay. So you have to do that. So let us try to do some examples. That is what it uh, you feel comfortable. So we will do few examples essentially ending this module, okay. Some module we will do it. Okay. So let us try to get some few examples. The first example I want to do it exactly what is done here. So you have u x y equal to x. You already done that. So same example I do it, I want to do this one. So when you have u x y equal to this one and let f equal to u plus i v is of course Laplacian of u equal to 0. This is the verification which you have to do is let be analytic. Okay. When that is analytic, now you can do the same computation exactly what you have done it. You differentiate f prime of z is equal to, I do it quickly but you write down the steps when you do that. f prime is equal to ux plus i v x that is equal to again I use a this notations you may know it, but since I have not used it in the last lecture, I do not want to use it. I dv by dx that is equal to du by dx minus I du by dy. This is by CR, by CR equations. Okay. Now you look at du by dx is equal to 1, dv by dy is equal to 0. So 1 minus 0. Okay. So integrate, integrate, what do you get it? f of z is equal to z plus a constant. What constant I will add? I have to add a constant like this, with c real. Because if I add a real constant, that real will get merged with the x, which I do not want it. So the constant should go with the imaginary part not the real part. So what is we, so here you are, so the difference between the earlier method and this method, in the earlier method you are finding v first and then you are computing your u plus i v to get your f of z. In this case you are getting f of z directly from there. So just by because you replaced it, f, f prime of z is equal to 1, so there is no x variable, so nothing to do it you got immediately and put the constant there. 
Now, let us look at the other example u x y equal to x y. So, what do I get it? So, my f prime of z is equal to I am quickly doing everything because I do not want to again and again do the similar example uh, repeat the same sentences, but in a question paper answer sheet repeatedly telling please write down all the steps d u by d x plus i d v by d x that is equal to d u by d x uh, plus minus i d u by d y. So, that is equal to what is d u by d x? d u by d x is equal to y minus i and d u by d y that is equal to x. Now, what do you uh, the method? You put x equal to z y equal to 0. So, put x equal to z y equal to 0 implies f prime of z is equal to equal to minus i z okay, uh, d u by d y yeah, minus i z. So, that means integrate, now integrate. I will do not do the entire calculation, you get f of z is equal to integrating that you will get minus i z square by 2 plus a constant. I do not put what constant it is, you have to put the constant such a way that you should get back your x c correctly. So, I put a constant now, see I want that one and now I want to find, so that is your function. So, you uh, exactly you obtained your thing, I want to find exactly my v. As I said there is a difference, the earlier method you found v using Cauchy Riemann equation, then you computed u plus i v. I got my f of z. So, let us do verification. So, I want my v, not only verification, I want my v. If I expand my expansion, therefore, f z is equal to that implies f of z is equal to minus i by 2 x plus i y whole square plus i uh, c. Now, I have not said c is real or imaginary, we will see that. So, this is equal to minus i by 2 x square and then minus y square plus 2 i x y plus c. Okay. So, that is equal to, so expand here. So, what is your real part? You want your real part to be, to, you see. So, the exactly you get it, your real part. Okay. There is one sign change somewhere has come. I do not know where that sign change came. I could see one minus here, minus should not be there. How did I get my minus sign here? Minus has come. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is correct. i into i is uh, i square, which will go and 2 and 2 will go. So, i square, so you will get x y. That is correct x y my uh, plus i by 2 you see i by 2 that I will write it as y square minus x square. Now, a constant, how do I choose my constant? Constant should not add here because x y is my real part. So, the real part should not change because real part is given to you. On the other hand, imaginary part is given to you, you should not be putting. So, your constant should be some i into a, a real constant. constant. So, your v x y is equal to immediately y square half of y square minus x square plus some constant x. Yeah. So, you can always add whatever constant you want it. So, that is how you got your and that is exactly what you got it earlier. So, let me do it one more example for the comfort and you please do that more and more examples. Okay. So, let me do the uh, since we have a limited time. So, let me note down the example, example 3. 
your u x y is equal to x cube minus 3 x y square plus 3 x square minus 3 y square. That is my thing. So, you immediately have your d u by d x is equal to you can compute uh, first you have to verify 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 Laplacian u verify equal to 0 or not you have to first verify that if it is not 0 there is no meaning in proceeding it you have to verify that so du by dx is equal to 3x square minus 3y square plus 6x ok so d square u by dx square is equal to d square u by dx square is equal to 6x plus 6, 6x plus 6, okay. Now, du by du by dy is equal to here minus 6xy here minus 6y. So, if I do that d square u by dy square that is equal to if I do the differentiation I get minus 6x. Here the again differentiation I get minus. So, these are negative this implies my Laplacian of u equal to 0. So, we are done. Okay. Now, I use a similar method I want to find my f prime of z is equal to du by dx plus i dv by dx use Cauchy Riemann, Cauchy Riemann will give you du, du by dx minus i du by dy. So, I have to do that. So, I do that expression, okay. So, I will, uh, I will write down this expression. So, du by dx, okay. So, du by dx is here and du by dy is here. So, du by dx is equal to this one 3 x square minus 3 y square plus 6 x minus i into du by dy that will become plus because there are 2 minus here 6 x y plus 6 y. Okay. That is what uh, you get your function. Now, what is it? Put x equal to z that is a method y equal to 0 we will get it f prime of z is equal to this is 3 z square plus 6 z y is 0 y is 0 y is 0. So, all terms will get cancelled you get f prime of z is equal to. So, that implies your f of z is equal to integrate now this is z cube by 3 this will be z cube. And uh, this integration z so square by 2 uh, z square by 2 that you get by 3 plus yeah 3 z you will get it. So, that is what you get it 3 z square plus a constant you need a constant. So, I will uh, change what constant to be added ok. So, you have your f of z equal to that. Now, we expand how do I find my v now? So, let me go back here or here yeah let me go back to this one. So, you expand it. So, you got your f of z equal to z cube. So, f of z is equal to z cube plus 3 z square plus c you know, c will replace later. So, that is equal to x plus I want to find my v whole cube plus 3 into x plus i y whole square plus c. Now, you expand it. If I expand it, I will get x cube here. Then I will get 3 x, uh, x square i y. So, I will get 3 x square i y then 3 x i square y square. So, that will become minus 3 x y square and minus y cube that is from here if you do an expansion of x plus i y cube. Now, from here 
I will have 3 into x square minus y square plus 2 i x y plus a constant. We will put that constant. Now, I combine my term. I make sure that I have my same u and then v which you have to write it. So, I will uh, take the real parts x cube minus 3 x y square that is very clear that is what I want and then I have 3 x square I have it from here and then my 3 y square which I have it here ok. And then you have your i in the I have my 3 x square y this does not give anything and then I have my plus 6 x y and then I put a constant and that constant should not go with this as I said again and again because that is a real part. So, I will put some i a, a real constant ok. So, your v x y, u x y correctly and once you get that correctly, you can more or less see that your other part is also correct. So, you have your 3 x square y plus 6 x y plus some constant here. So, you have that example. And uh, you can do this problem. So, I just want to see which one is easy at this problem. I can do this problem with the method 1. So, in this case, you can see actually the method 1 is much more easier. You can see that. By method 1, same problem, by method 1, what do you have it? So, let us do this method 1. By method 1, I will have my dv by dy is equal to du by dx. I have to do the same calculation, ok. I have that one 3 x square minus uh, 3 y square plus 6 x that is what plus 6 x. Integrate, integrate with respect to y, I get v x y is equal to integrate with respect to y. So, this is like a constant. So, you have 3 x square y, this is y square. So, 3 y cube by 3 minus y cube because it is an integrate plus 6 x y plus some h of x. Now, I use d v by d y. So, I have to differentiate you can do whichever one you want it. You do not have to start with y and x here. You can start with x and y here, but you have to do the other part here. So, if you start with the dv by dy is equal to with respect to y, you do it with respect to x. You have to make the change correctly. So, we will get dv by dx is equal to this is 3 x cube. Now, you are integrating with differentiate, differentiating with respect to x. So, I will get 6 x y differentiating this goes away, differentiating with respect to x, I will get 6 y plus h prime of x. Now, use again Cauchy Riemann, uh, dv by dx is same as du by dx, ok. This is same as minus du by dy, ok, because here used x. So, my, what is my du by dy? My du by dy is already calculated. So, I can compare ok. So, this is. So, this implies my d u by d y is equal to this one d u by d 6 x y minus 6 y. So, minus of that that will get it as 6 x y plus 6 y that is same as this one that is again 6 x y plus 6 y plus x prime of x. That implies my h prime of x is equal to 0 implies h is equal to constant you get constant that is exactly what you want it. So, you see here you have your v, v we already got 3 x square minus x y plus 6 x y, uh, there is a y cube we see, uh, v x y, this, yeah there is a y cube somewhere, there is a y cube somewhere missing, yeah there is a y cube here. 
you have to get some i cube somewhere ah there is an i here oh wait there is an i here oh there is an i here so minus i y cube sorry that's an error there is a i y cube and this is not here okay and this is not here the, uh, our u uh, x y is wrong x y so let me do the previous method here x cube you know the u is equal to 3 x square minus 3 y square ah minus 3 y square is there plus that is correct this one and this there is a minus y cube so i missed here so there is a v x y there is a minus y cube plus v okay that's why you should always do the calculations properly okay so that's exactly what you are getting it so you see so you have your exactly 3 x square y here minus y cube here okay, and x is constant that's what it, and that constant has to be a c so you have your examples and uh, uh, we i as i told you i have two more topics since i don't have which is not part of your thing but it is interesting but since i don't have time instead of taking up a new topic i will do maybe one more example or two more examples so maybe i will do quickly two more examples for you and then i will stop it so let's again consider example one two more problems here u x y is equal to x square minus y square okay so you can easily verify we already verify this is harmonic that's how you constructed in the beginning i have in the last lecture we have already proved that laplace in of u is equal to zero so you write down f is equal to same way ux plus du by dx equal to i into dv by dx that's equal to du by dx by cos area and i dv by dy okay so what do you do it so you du by dy so you calculate this is equal to du by dx is equal to 2x and uh, du by dy is equal to minus 2y plus i 2y that's equal to 2 into x plus i y is already uh, this is the f prime of z i am doing it so quickly so, the, so this is nothing but 2 z that's it so you will have your immediately you already seen that so that implies f z is equal to integrate you get z square plus a constant c because we already need this so if you expand it the real part will be x, x plus i y whole square that's x square minus i y plus 2 i x it is so your imaginary part from here if you expand it x plus i y uh, whole square plus i c that's your f of z so expanding it x square minus y square plus 2 i x y so i into 2 x y So your v x y is equal to two x y plus c. c real. You see, that's it. So maybe one more example to complete it. To complete the course, uh, complete this module. Last example to complete the module. A slight verification. I take u x y is equal to x square. Minus y square. Let me do that. Minus y. Is this Laplacian view? Verify. This is an exercise. Please verify. That's trivial. So you write down again f prime of u, f prime of uh, f prime of z equal to f prime of z equal to du by dx plus i dv by dx. That's equal to by Cauchy-Riemann. du by dx minus i du by dy 
plus is equal to du by dx is equal to 2x minus i into du by dy is equal to minus minus will come plus 2y plus 1. Okay, this will give you minus 1, this gives you minus 2y and minus minus cancels, it become plus and you get i into 2. So, put x equal to z, this is the mean function method, again y equal to 0, careful writing do not miss something, okay, there is a tendency to remove this term to z, but then only y you put 0, so you will have i here this term you have to write it very carefully. So, do not miss this term while writing this thing. Only put y equal to 0 and x equal to z. All other constants you have to replace it. So, that implies integrate you get a z is equal to 2z square by 2 that is equal to z square plus integrate. So, you will have i z plus a constant you have to add that with this x. Now, you have to expand it to uh, compute your v y. So, you expand it. So, this is your analytic function. So, if you ask to in the uh, depending on the exercise, if they have asked you to only find analytic function, you stop it at that stage. If you ask them to verify this uh, real v part, you compute this. This is x plus i y whole square plus i into x plus i y plus c. So, that is equal to x square minus y square from here, here minus y, you see that is your real part. This comes from the second term plus i into, you have your 2 x y, that is similar thing corresponding to that. It will bring back, what extra it will bring is, uh, bring back plus x, this is very interesting and plus some a, where a real constant. So, your c is replaced by i. So, you see when I added here something you got x here. It is very, so that your equations are satisfied correctly. So, this is your real part and this is your imaginary part. Your v x y is equal to 2 x y plus x plus a. So, uh, with that I will end my module. As I said there are some interesting things like orthogonal trajectories, how to define the logarithmic function. I have defined all exponential, all the elementary functions. You sh should know that polynomials, exponential, trigonometric functions, uh, these are the elementary functions. Together with that, the logarithmic function. I have not defined that logarithmic function, that involves little more work, thought of doing it, but I do not think I can do it. Because a logarithmic function is not a single valued function. Logarithmic function is a multi valued function which is an inverse of exponential because exponential is a periodic function, it gives different values. But uh, it is a thing, I will not do that one. Thank you. So, I hope uh, you have some extra material in this course. So, the idea of this course giving is not to just some problem solving skill. Problem solving skill you can develop at home, but what is you may be missing? is the ideas behind the, the development of theory. So, the my purpose of this course is to uh, give some intuitive picture when you are developing some theory. Thank you very much.